Welcome to DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do just a quick update. So, uh, I've uh, over the holidays, I've been binge watching Graham over at Diode Press, and one of the things I, I noticed is he redid this vice that another YouTuber did out of metal, uh, and it just looks so cool. I had to go ahead and do it. And, and what I want to show in this video is a little bit more so about the printer, the tarantula. So this was over an 11 hour print that the tarantula ran and it did a beautiful job so this is one of the things I wanted to share I get a lot of questions about the tarantula is it worth it can it do it and I gotta tell you this is one amazing printer you can see the quality here I sliced these in Cura and I purposely threw a pretty big challenge at it and the results are really phenomenal on the resolution now one of the things that uh, tips I will share with you guys when this is starting to put down the first layer I watch the first layer going down and then I adjust on the controls don't mind my reach here over here I adjust the flow rate between approximately a hundred and about a hundred and three percent to kind of balance that out now you know a lot of you guys know you should take calibers measure your filament exact you know all that kind of stuff Instead, what I do is I watch that first layer go down and I adjust the flow rate based upon it. Only a couple percent, you know, about one to three percent um, do I change it. And, and that's really going to be based upon your filament and how it really flows out of the nozzle uh, as well as what is the irregularity in the diameter. But anyways, I don't want to turn it into that. I just thought that was another good tip. Now, the other thing is with uh, this part of this quickie, um, have a lot of comments on the, the PEI video I did, quickie video I did. So one of the things that I, I do do that I forgot to mention in that video is between usages I clean this with 98% alcohol I just get at the drugstore. Works great because again you see me touching it, it gets oil on my hands, there's going to be some artifacting from the plastic and, and that kind of stuff so it cleans it up nice. The other thing is I don't use glass. This is attached right directly to the bed I've been use, using this directly attached to beds now for over a year, no issues there. Uh, so if you feel compelled to put down glass to be super level, I guess it works for you, go for it. But for me, um, I haven't worried about glass in over a year and haven't looked back. So I wanted to share that, and this is a good example. Um, these came out again, phenomenal. And also one of the things, kind of notice the anvil piece here, sticking up here. And, and the resolution is almost no Z artifacting uh, on this. This is just totally uh, uh, amazing. Actually, this is uh, a bit better than my Wanhao even because my Wanhao gets a little bit of, of Z irregularity uh, that I've got to clean off a lot of times with sandpaper if I were to do a um, cylinder like this. So again, this has come out beautiful. Uh, I also did very light infills because I wanted to see how this would turn out and uh, you know this is definitely stuck to the bed pretty good. I'll have to take a little bit to get it off. Um, but anyways I just wanted to show you guys what I was working on and I tell you what I have the link to this uh, uh, vice out on Thingiverse that Graham from Dial Press put out there. If you're interested this is really really a cool setup so I'm really looking forward. I'm doing this for another project you guys will probably see sometime in the later future but I just kind of wanted to show that the uh, TiVo Tarantula can do a high resolution print. It can print for 11 hours and it can do one heck of a job. So if you're thinking about one, uh, a, a DIY kit, I still highly recommend this. I've had a great time with it. It's been a lot of fun. So, hey, if you got questions about the vice, if you got questions about the Tarantula, or just in general what the weather's going to be like tomorrow, well, maybe not that, hit me up below in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.